Okay. We're good, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. Um. Uh, audio, I think, should be good as well. I guess it is. Okay. Okay. So we're back with more uh play the princess. Um All right. What did I what was happening last time? I can't remember. I think we'll just continue from where we were last time. Oh, it just starts it off. Okay, I thought I don't have to choose the save file, but I don't have to. Um, and then I guess we are ready to go back. That is what we're going to do. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I guess so. We will finally know what... Or I guess... I guess we will, yeah. Waiting for you. Why well, I every time this gets me, I still for, like forget every time. Chapter one: the hero share an, your happy ending with her, an honest heart that she been achieved. In the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay, well I'm glad I got the happy ending at least. I'm glad I waited a bit before getting the happy ending. Uh, sorry, I'm glad I waited a bit before continuing after the happy ending because I was very, uh... Sad. At the end of the world, what are we talking about? Okay, this seems... I've done all this before. Um... Let's just silently continue towards the cabin. We're gonna take the blade. I Actually, no, because... One time... Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think we'll take the blade and then not try to kill her. You take the blade from the table. The door to the basement. Okay, so all these uh, things here, and then we we'll see. Oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. Hello, Diana. I'm to think they'd forgotten about. How are me. you doing? You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around mm. her wrist, binding her to the far wall. So the we're just, what if we talk to her and just don't decide to kill her? What if we tried that? How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? Okay, we're gonna Look drop the knife and the two of us will talk. That's what you're you doing. Okay, you suppose? Okay. Things out. That's uh, that's fine. How was your day? Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what. Now all this is done. We're gonna and we'll drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling And then we'll see what what happens. Drops to the floor with and the and and this uh these few days have been so stressful. Last night was easy. I will say that last night was very very easy. Um, you know, because I was I've been doing the night shift. I've been able to sleep the entire time. But uh, the night before. Basically, like, I won't go into detail what happened. Basically, the guy, like, ran away from the house. Uh, and, like, he's allowed to do that, but he has a curfew, like, by, like, by law. Um, to, like, he has to be, you know, at his, at his, at the house from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So, because he, you know, broke his curfew, we had to, like, call the police. We had to spend some time, uh, you know, I had to give a statement since I was the last person that saw him. Uh, you know, we had to go out with the manager just like looking around um, For him, but even though we had no clue, but then we came back and like we didn't end up finding him and he get, like I, I knew he would come back early like, you know, like sometime next day, which he did, but uh, Yeah, it was still a still a bit stressful that night <laughs> Yeah, they, they do we'll It was fun. the first time I ever had to do something like that as well uh, I've never had to like actually call the police and deal with them ever, so that was a new experience. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Yes. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are, 
What an awkward start to a relationship. Okay. Uh... Do you? Nope, I have no clue. So, you're not going to share? How pointless. Even if you, you yeah, exactly. Even if you know you're not in trouble, it's just like, yeah, it's just like dealing with them, you know, can be, uh, can be stressful. I, I agree with that. It sounds awful, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, it, it was, uh, it was rough, but, um, you know, nothing I can, I didn't really get much sleep the last few days, so like, you know, I, I came back. Right? Um, I got good sleep last night because the, the dude who I was with slept, um, you know, the entire... He slept the entire night, basically, right? So I got good sleep and I thought like, oh yeah, I'm pretty rested. I came back home and then I slept for another five hours. So, and I, you know, and I woke up just right before, you know, like, you know, right before I started streaming here. So I'm pretty sure I was still very, very um, tired. Like, I just did not get... You know, good sleep at all. Yeah, exactly. Um. She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Okay, she's Not kind of a prick in this one. You can't trust her. Hmm. Too long. Again, yeah. She offers no specific. Uh, another thing with no him that, like, uh, you know, this he's like fairly um, addicted to substances. So, you know, I haven't really dealt with those in my life really either. So it's like he, we have to like try and get him to smoke outside, and um, it can be, it can be difficult as well. Sorry, as a couple of minutes late, I have to finish that. Launch a new favorite challenge on YouTube. I absolutely recommend. Okay, nice. What was the challenge run video that you were looking at? Um, you can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't, well. We can always put that knife to good use. I don't think that knife is gonna cut through chains, though. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. Shadow the Hedgehog pacifist. She wow. She's suggesting what I think she's suggesting. Oh no, she's gonna cut off. Right. She wants to cut off her arm, just like the she other is. one. I'm sure of it. Uh, the, I think these two are both like very cringe to ask, so I'm not gonna do it. Decided what to do with me. They are very scary. Uh, so it's um, it's very rough. Like he, you know, he's usually fine way. when he has his substances, but um, when he doesn't, like he's okay with me, but with other staff, he's not very good with. Um, so that's why, yeah. His best videos are Kirby Pokemon and Pikmin videos. That's cool. What is your favorite like video personally? Tomorrow my program has a Halloween event, and I'm a bit stressed because I'll be wearing it in front of everyone. Well, I hope everything goes fine with you, Dianea. You know, you've been excited to wear the, uh... You know... Um, excited to wear your... Your witch outfit for a while, so I hope it goes well. That sounds uh, like a pretty good compromise. Yeah, I think that sounds like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't... I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Probably the latest Kirby one, though the Kirby videos must be released... Watched in release order. Oh, okay, you is it like a... Uh, choice. Chronological Let's thing? For all our sakes, it's the right one. Good. I'm glad you've come to your senses. You're making a huge mistake. Okay, so this one we're doing where we take the knife, but we're opening, or like you know, setting her free. So we'll see what happens. The right thing. It depends what it is to withdraw them having absolutely delusional episode. Yeah, yeah. 
You walk up to well, the that's the thing. He always that he, because he's legally allowed to go up between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. He always goes downtown to get more drugs and uh, what is it? There's nothing we can really do to stop it because you know he's allowed to go up by himself. And he he's always asking us like, oh, you should come. Like you know, if you you should like because if there we need to know where he is, we should go down with him. But like it's it's. You know, nobody really wants to go down because, like, it's a really bad part of town. So it's like for, you know, and yeah, for our own safety, nobody goes with him. They're large and heavy, far too solid. Like we'll usually walk him to the bus stop and stuff, but that's really it. If you don't have the key, maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. Okay, I'll go upstairs then. I mean, I'll just look upstairs just to make her happy, I guess. Um. That would be fine. I can lose an arm. Okay, and she can lose an arm. Okay. With almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here, yeah. Look at her face. She like does not care. Anything to finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear okay, we still don't know who's locking this door. Is someone else here? Hmm. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. You're here to slay the prick. Your shouts, and I'll repeat myself once again. Okay, return to the bottom of the stairs then. I don't know who locked the door. The bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier for easier for everyone. Yeah, this is stuff I already see. I was planning on doing math work a bit earlier, but I don't know if I still will. It is kind of late, so um I don't know, it's uh what else do you plan on doing then if you don't do math? Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. We're gonna save the princess. Against your better, you cut into her. The blade is sharp, and she takes Okay, this is the same stuff from sound. before. Free from her bindings, the princess. How is she so composed after losing an arm? Thank you. Now let's get out of here. We'll approach the locked door. I think. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. Chilling, probably. All right, sounds good. Into the world. No. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait. This isn't fair. You can't just do that. Okay, this is the same thing from before, but I think I still will... Oh yeah, slay the princess, warn her. Oh, so wait, this is stuff that I've done before, really? Oh no, because slay the princess, I think we'll probably end up fighting Stop her is what'll that. happen. I thought this was a little... Your body lunges forward to sink the blade and... Stop it! Stop! Yeah, this is all the same thing from before. Rule resists. The blade. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. I'll make this quick. So yeah, this is the same thing, except now she's like, you know, much more... Uh, how do you say? Um... Like, not, evil's not the right word. She's much more cold she compared to the last one. Prize the blade from your rigid hands. Maybe I'll see you in another life. Wait, so she already knows, maybe? Maybe I'll see you in another life? And then she slits your throat. With an almost yeah, she slits you through it almost with clinical ease. The last one, like, kind of said you, she used the blade clumsily. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground. Blood. A neutral route, okay. Butchered neck. This is the end, isn't it? Let's go. I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark. Yes, yeah, so this is all the die. same. Everything goes dark and you die. I hope it was worth it. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path, is a cabin and in the basement of that cabin is a prince you're here to slay okay so the, all this i've done but i doubt what i'm gonna, oh you but you're in for it now yeah i mean we'll just proceed to the cabin oh yeah circles oh, you doing boy. anything for halloween or no Before you go any further she will lie yes yes don't believe a word she says just go in Take the okay, knife. voice of the skeptic. This one's a new one. To... Wink. Wink. Did you just say wink? <laughs> yeah. Out? No, I didn't. Wink. Okay, this this guy is so stupid. Just ignore this clown and focus yeah. on the princess. Proceed into the cabin. 
I think we'll take the knife the again. The oh, this one is a cozy woodland retreat, and more like a dungeon. It's a dungeon. A few also, it's like of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls. Yeah, I'm gonna and be just a general spooky guy. My aunt is handing a candy. I'm gonna hide in the bushes at a crowd of corners and scare children. <laughs> wow, what a great idea, sir. <laughs> This guy my program was silly bragging about how we got married in Minecraft. Hey, you know what? All the power to him. The only furniture of note is an iron The blade is... We'll take the blade. Good idea. Then enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open. Okay, so the dungeon we have seen before. Stays. This is not a completely new area. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your her voice. Harsh but controlled. Is that a visitor I hear? Please. Come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. So I wonder what other areas there can be, because I feel like I've maybe missed out on some areas. I'm not too sure. You walk downstairs. Why is she wait? She's the exact same, except she's covered in just like way more chains. He's like 14, kind of strange, and he's a neat kid. Okay. As she adjusts her hands in her lap. So who did he, did he say who we got married to in Minecraft then? Should we be worried about the one around her neck? Why would you be worried about her restraints? If anything, they'll make your job easier. No, okay. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there will be something so obviously useless. He just has an online wife, I guess. Okay, what that's an it. Interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. Okay, I'm not sure I need to do much. Do you see how locked up she is? I'm just gonna leave her here. Let's sit with her. You step towards the princess, but she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. Okay, what is happening? There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. Huh. Why would she ask us to keep our distance? That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Might as well put her at ease. Okay, sit where you were told to sit. You do as she asks, and sit on the floor. Still a good distance away from her. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? Uh, I think we just want to talk again. Ten yes, your intentions. You have a knife. What are you going so to do So it seems like this is the first Why person? Or this is the first time? That it doesn't seem like she exactly remembers who we are. I could be wrong though. Uh, maybe like the, at least from the way she's acting, she doesn't seem like she remembers us. There isn't a keyhole in these shackles, so I'm afraid my only way out is surgical removal. Yeah, but you can't really surgical remove her neck, huh? Is she forgetting about the shackle on her neck. Yeah. Or does she think she'd survive a beheading? Um, that would be wild if that was the case. You're right. Maybe she's delusional. All the more reason not to trust her. Unless she really could survive. That might honestly be the case, and then she just like picks up her head after well, cut off. I suppose off. you could just be here to kill me. But I don't think that's in either of our best interests. I keep think I keep hearing like what is it? What sounds like a leaky faucet inside the game, and I keep thinking it's like outside behind me. So like I keep raising up my headphones, but it's not it's not the case. Oh, are we acknowledging that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game, but yeah, I remember. Okay, so she does remember. Okay. So you've already been here. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. But oh yeah, I got these. I this I impulse bought something for the first time. Um, like I just saw something advertised to me and I bought it. And like, I honestly don't regret it. It was just these cookies that were advertised to me, and uh, I bought them. And they were so ridiculously heavy. They have like uh, some filling in the center. Uh, you know, or like, you know, they're different types of cookies and they each have their own filling and they're like massive cookies. They're more like cakes than cookies. It's complicated things. Um, exactly. I bought it just like a few days ago, like, uh, after I did, like when I didn't stream that first day when I had work and then it arrived yesterday. 
ideally this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. When you say generally spooky guy surplus, what, um... What are you planning to, like, go at, or like, you know, kind of where? The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. Oh? A contingency for what? Wait, the narrator's actually explaining stuff a tiny bit? For you failing, obviously. You no, that's not true, because last time we succeeded and it still did not go I shouldn't well. I not say anything else, I'm just going to make it worse, just... Good luck. Yeah, impulse buying food isn't something I usually regret. Good morning, thank you, Ortheo. Thank you, Ortheo. If you knew this could happen, why didn't you tell us? All of this is incredibly valuable information. It would have changed our actions considerably. I needed you to be in the dark for as long as I could keep you there. It's important. Necessary, even. And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. Wait, what? I didn't want to be confronted by the old- I didn't want to be controlled by the alternate? What is this guy talking about? Uh, I really shouldn't say anything else. I'm just, you need that- why should all of this- You could- you could change it. I need you to be in the dark for as long. It's necessary, important, even. I didn't- I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative- Oh no, the That's alternative. Okay. I never said I wasn't. This is the most we've heard from the narrator, I think, about, like, what exactly is going on. I get it. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. Who's word girl? At least we can remember what happened Yo, before. Yo, Bogan, yo, Seems I didn't like even see you there. How are you doing, Bogan? Exactly, he gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing up. I have an old cardboard mask with a spooky right. face, a purple torn shirt. A tor uh, wait, a purple suit, a torn up shirt, a bunch of random props. I'm gonna do those. I'm gonna use those to do silly children scaring things. Okay, <laughs> that sounds really funny. <sighs> so. So you, you just plan, when they go up to your aunt, you'll kind of give them candy, Moving right? On. Or sorry, Why she'll give them candy, and then as they're ignorant. leaving, you're gonna scare them, or are you gonna scare them before they get the candy? The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying Wanna that make a PVZ mob? But I don't know how. What PVZ mod are you planning on making? Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. I won't. I won't, okay. Just give it a rest, this isn't helping. Yeah, scare him after candy, okay, okay. Focus. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be dangerous. Okay, she is very locked in. What happened last time I died? I don't know, but you could always try it on. Oh, maybe we could. Maybe it'll fit. We could. I hope I don't actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going Doesn't to save the world. do know why is it? When you put my face on all the plants? <laughs> That's pretty funny, I like that. If you get- if you get that to work, let me know. Nothing happened. Oh, thank you, you Bogan, for the, uh, for the three months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I found myself in a new place in chains again. How have you been? Thank you for the support. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. Huh. And now well, not just that. I'll cook up something. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just let me know if you, if you do manage to, to do that. Is that really all she knows? It's not like I believe it. Much of a clue about I mean, we just kind of died and got, She's came back alive, so. Than we are. You're looking at me like I might be hiding something. I'm not. I've only ever made mods for Minecraft, and that's iconically pretty simple to mod, even on Bedrock Edition. Oh, I didn't even know Minecraft was really easy to mod. I guess that makes sense with the amount of mods Minecraft has. But I, I, I had no clue it was really, really easy. How am I supposed to cut you out if you didn't notice your. Oh. 
Okay, I don't want to leave her. What would you have me do? Let me borrow that knife. Don't worry, you'll get it back. Okay. That's ominous. But she seems confident. Whatever it is she has planned, I think she knows what she's doing. And I just did some texture stuff, okay. I guess, yeah, the textures the textures are pr usually pretty easy. What'd you change with the textures, oh, though? Please, she's just putting on an act to disarm you. That much should be obvious. In case you need to hear a voice of reason, it would obviously be unwise to give away your only weapon. Though if she isn't bluffing, whatever she has planned might be for her benefit alone. There's no guarantee that what's good for her is good for us. So... What should we do? I don't know. I'm just spelling out our options, listing the pros and cons. Then let me help you. I'll start okay. with the cons. If you're handing her your weapon, the cons are that she As a concept, I don't know if it'll ever exist, but custom text and textures. And she might use it to kill you. Well, yeah, no, I mean, that seems cool. That doesn't sound great. What about the pros? There are none. There are none. Yeah, this guy's super biased, though. I look into some games can be surprisingly malleable, and I have fun figuring stuff out whenever I mess with Minecraft textures. Yeah, stuff like the textures and the audio files I think can be fun to mess around with. Um, because you, uh... I don't know, it's just, like, it's it's usually pretty simple to do, and it, like, it's it's funny and satisfying to see the changes that you've made. that we can't trust him. I don't know how Plants vs. Zombies works, though, like what the mods for that are. I would imagine it's like not very difficult to mod either. Or maybe they're both screwing us over in their own ways. Uh, I'm not, you realize that I've, I'm not giving you a weapon. No, but she only killed us with that after we needed to. Uh, inspect I the shackle. Do that if I were you. No, we're inspecting the shackle. Why is that? Do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle, and it's one without a key. Do you want to be stuck here like she? Yes, Bogan. And it's one without a key. What? Is it going to lock the second we put our wrist into it? I don't know. Maybe it will. This guy knows. He doesn't want us to look at it. That's all the reason we need to investigate. But what if he's telling the truth? He isn't. I am. Hmm. Inspect the shackle. Let's see. Against your better judgment, you approach the chain dangling from the far wall. So I just proving to mod that I wasn't a common plebeian shatter, and I paid my tribute. I see. Okay, I see. I see. All right. Well, thank you for paying your monthly tribute, Bogan. I don't want to say what I'm supposed to say next. Oh, so something happens. What is that supposed to mean? It sounds bad. Is it bad? Yes, it's bad. Come out and say it then. You're just wasting time. Fine. As you hoist the shackle, its heft shifts within your grasp, as if pulled by some odd <laughs> magnetism. Before you can so much as blink, it practically leaps from your hands. Oh, so it snaps around, around my neck walking. as well, but this time I'm going to actually and die. As if your situation weren't bad enough, the same magnetism repels your blade, which is flung from your hand and sent skittering across the floor of the basement. Um, excuse me? <sighs> okay, but that literally makes no sense. The blade, I'm assuming, was probably holding... I was, like, uh, it was probably holding itself in... I was probably holding it in my other hand. I wasn't holding it on the hand I was expecting the chains with, so how does that happen? Yes. Are we stuck here now? Prison of the yes. mind, become your own jailer. Huh, so it does fit. And I guess it doesn't like your knife. We're stuck here together, aren't we? That's funny. What are we supposed to do now? Can't even cut ourselves out. Guess we'll starve. That's horrible. It's not all bad. We learned a valuable piece <laughs> Was this of valuable piece of information that we learned? Touch things we're specifically told not to touch. No, that there's something special about this loose chain. It's clearly important. Okay. Um Did you know that was what going to happen to me? No. Okay. Um Let's just wait in silence. Let me think, if I was here, would I say anything? So we're both stuck here, what should we do? Uh... 
she's like very just uninterested. So we're both stuck here. Oh, what should we do? Maybe. Wait, I guess. Maybe something else will happen. Maybe not. You're not one for small talk, are you? Nope. Okay, well, we figure that out. That's rude. Oh, I made a pack where I made everything super cursed because I thought it'd be funny. It was. also made pa pack to change some armor to make it look cooler. Can't remember what else I did. When you say make everything look cursed, what did you do to make it cursed? So we're both stuck here. So wait in silence. Princess, wait in silence, though neither of you knows what you're waiting for. But you're waiting for something. You're waiting for anything. This is so boring. Yeah, we're kind of shackles and chains down here. Can do to get out of here. There must be something we're missing. But there isn't. Time passes. It passes and passes and passes. And Maybe I should have said something else. The same. It is cold and silent. At least the world is safe. It isn't. You're stuck. Too far away from both the princess and your blade to do much of anything. How's the sleep schedule, my man? Well, I mean, with my job, it's pretty difficult. Um, it's like, uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't able to get like really any sleep past two days. Last night I was able to sleep, but then when I came back home, I ended up sleeping more because I just needed to catch up more and sleep. Um, She's not ending anything. She's just sick. So there. it's like it's it's been it's been difficult, but uh, you know we're, we're sleeping, and that's what's important. It, it, eventually, we're sleeping. Eventually, her very existence, and is that is what uh, is important. It. I think. How exactly does that work? It just does. Honestly, graveyard. Yeah, I mean, especially when. If you miss two days of sleep, you can just catch up the next day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was the thing. So I actually, yeah, so I missed two days of sleep. And then on the third day, I kind of like slept the entire day. He, it was lucky that he kind of wanted to sleep early. So he slept early. I slept like half of the night. Right. And then I came back and then I slept like five more hours. So I kind of just like slept the entire day today on the 30th. It was, uh, yeah, just a lot of sleep. But your line of questioning is interrupted by the passage of even more time. And after that, even more time passes again. And let me guess, the cabin remains the same. Uh, was good for a while, but this past week has been lazy, so I've been staying awake even more, I see. Okay, I mean, it just happens, yeah. No, but I do remember you had really, really good sleep for a while. If time but, is passing, uh, oh yeah, how's your, um, can't be the same, even if the difference how's your is wisdom to, to like, to uh, you know, your, your mouth That's healing surplus work. from your wisdom, because usually that thing, um, like your, your mouth kind of like, uh, swells a lot, right? It becomes really swollen? Or did that not happen with you? I don't know, I can't eat. Is that it? I suppose. Oh. And a bit of, a bit of erosion, but they get larger and larger. I don't like small talk, remember? There's no way you just refuse to speak this entire time. You continue to wait in silence and the cabin continues to change. The decay comes faster now. You can see earth through holes in the stonework, can watch lichens. How long have we just been waiting here? That doesn't make sense. Has our entire concept of time changed? What happened to My mouth no longer hurts while resting since it's been a week. Just kind of sore. Eating so stuck sucks though. Okay. So I don't think I re remember asking. Why did you need to get it pulled in the first place? Was it uh, anything in particular? Um, that like, you know, any reason you had to, or you just did it to just like free up space in your mouth? She hasn't starved. I guess she hasn't. How is she? The re reason we're still saying is because Even we have the voices in our head. But like, she has nothing. Push she just stares into space forward. Porous walls of the basement. Dirt seeps inside. To get braces. Oh, you can't get braces with wisdom liquid, teeth. Covering the ground and threatening to swallow you both. Time continues to pass, and pass, and pa until suddenly, oh, there are no walls. And then.
And? And, oh uh, yeah. I think he's gone. Well, what? Which what happens to the narrator? We made it out of the cabin, and nothing bad had to happen to either of us. So this is the outside world. It's cold. Why she become super depressed now? Wow, this was a very kind of sad, depressing one. We just waited uh, until she, until the like entire cabin just eroded. We just waited in silence and nothing happened. But you don't, you don't got the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Is that? Up uh, approach the mirror. Yeah, they, yeah, they get in the way of braces unless you're really, really young. I see, okay. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Voices feel small distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. La it was you grow, you are nothing at all. This one's new. Why is there a picture of a crow in here? That isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus on your gaze and you see a figure. A faint and veiled in the shadow, just beyond the reflection. I think you know. What is this? Why is it? Huh? This is the narrator? And then another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. Whoa. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. You're the one who wanted me to slay the princess one. She is death itself. To rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind. She is death destroyed. itself. What? Okay. And despite how far you've fallen, you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I. No, I don't think if she's death itself, I don't think that is the uh, it's good to get rid of. Okay, so every time I ask a question, a part breaks. I need to be careful. The reason the narrator doesn't see the mirror is because he's the mirror. Epic foreshadowing. Oh, okay. One of my lives, you doubt yourself. You thought all, all of this was wrong. That means nothing in the grand Yeah, because in the happy ending, he was this just like, no, don't slay the princess. Every possible world at once. The fact that you managed to find one reality among trillions where I was delusional proves nothing. Okay, so you're the narrator, I was wondering if I are what are you, something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions, does it hurt when a piece of you breaks off? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you, will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? Um, We've already crossed the point of no return. There's no saving me now. Not that there's okay. ever been much of me to save. So it can't save him, it seems. Um... I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? The people out there, do they know? Do they know what you want me to do with them? You call this, yeah, you call this place a contract. What it is it supposed, supposed to do? To keep the two of you trapped here until the job was done, and it was supposed to guide your hand to help you see things through. The construct you're in exists in every world at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both you and her into a new world. But you're okay. waking up to your true nature now. It won't be able to work. Well, who like exactly is the narrator? Is there a thing like, who are you, narrator? Who cares about that? Why would you want to rid the world of Oh, yes. Why would you want to rid the world you of death? You need to ask that question. There's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. You cannot die. So you cannot grasp the abject horror of dying. Okay. Uh, after everything you've done, you think anyone- I was made to be the single tack, who made me? What am I? The long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. The long- the god I made to rid the world of death. Um, I don't want to be a god, I want to be me. A god. So, you're the narrator. Um, if you're not me, what do you- 
so many questions does it hurt? You said something you said she contains death. She what is she? Shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. She becomes that what others perceive her to be. Oh, can. yeah, okay. That's what you were saying earlier, surplus. When Echo can't perceive things, not in the way people can. You want me to destroy the concept? How is that existence any better than death, or even different from death at all? When I broke the cycle, I made sure that the tear was rough. You carry a part of what should be her, and she carries a part of what should be you. Things won't be as they are now, but they won't be nothing either. Besides, anything is better than oblivion. In the end, nobody wants to. So I guess this guy doesn't want to leave either. If I destroy her, won't I be alone? Your delusional note. After everything you've done, does uh does anyone know about this? Does anyone know else? Does anyone else know about us? I don't want to be a god. I want to be me. No, I don't think so. So you're the narrator. What are you? Something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I'm an echo, likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Oh yeah, true. Many other narrators. Okay. True. Um, does anyone know? So, you do know what? So many times I met you, denied it. Why'd you lie to me? Any other version of me you talked to was just that. A version of me. It wasn't me. As to why they lied... Perhaps they thought that admitting to it would have pushed you to certain realizations that would have made finishing the Okay, so he impossible. did always know, but he just didn't want to... Okay, I see. In denial. I'm sure many of them were convinced that they had to be the first version of them you'd encountered. Anything else would have been too... I guess, because they, they wanted us to keep pushing towards killing the, the princess. Okay. Those other versions of me could have had entirely different understandings of how this construct works. Who's to say which of them are right and which of them are wrong, really? Except for me. I can tell you for a fact that I'm right. That makes sense, yeah. Um... Okay. I'm going to... I'm not going to slay her, and I want you to know that before you die for good. Rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I still have to see what she thinks about all this. I've said my piece, and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. I do know what I have to do. But I, I do know what you want me to do. I don't know if I'm going to do... Oh, wait. Why has my cursor changed? I'm now... This thing. So final, uh, you see yourself with newfound clarity. The narrator is right. You are the long quiet. A vast and nascent god. And it's finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. When you arrive at the heart of things, there's no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There's nothing for you to find. Okay, what just happened there? Oh, hello? Is this all the versions of the princess? Oh yeah, the hands are no longer covering her eyes. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. I've missed you too. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear a conversation? I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Every word you spoke found its way to me. I hmm. know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. Okay. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. Uh, I'm a long quiet, but I don't know what, to, what that really means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound. A pale imitation of what I actually am. So what are you then? What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? 
Oh, so this is like saying, oh, all my choices over the course of this game? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not deaf, but I contain it in my multitude. So, will you attempt to destroy me? Uh, will you open the final doors? I think I'll do the- open the final doors to our liberation. There's so many stories, can we really just leave? Don't- you have a say in all this? Why is it falling on me? Okay, l let's go through everything. Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end. Pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve. Nothing restraining us but us. Okay, so I guess it's like there's no other... Okay, I see. I see what she's talking about. Don't you have a say in all this? Why is it falling on me? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens. Just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't... The winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Okay, let's talk this through. There's so many questions I need answered before I can make a choice. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. And you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. Okay. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten me, then so Oh, she, is she mad? Did I do something that made her... Okay! The question of everything is to deny the truth in front of you. By believing in your suffering, you make your suffering real. By believing in your limitations, you placed a shackle on your neck. The question of everything is to deny, deny the truth in front of you. By believing in your suffering, Wait, I believe you make suffering real. By believing in your limitations, you place a shackle on your neck. Bound for eternity, you saw the need for impermanence. And it was through that need that you carved our freedom. Without impermanence, the suffering of living things is infinite. Wait, so is this the word that you have as your as your thing? Uh, surplus as your Discord? Oh no, it's permanence. Is your is your thing? I'm a very okay. To question everything is to deny the truth in front of you. Okay. By believing in your suffering, you make your suffering real. By believing in your limitations, you place a shackle on your neck. Bound for eternity, you saw the need for impermanence, and it was through that me that you carved our freedom. Would you strip my gifts away, and leave everyone to suffer in the dark? Um... I'm so confused what's happening right now. Okay. So will you attempt to destroy me? You're not sure reflections if we didn't. Okay, and you cannot rationalize with violence and passion. Okay. And leave everyone to suffer in the dark. I won't are you gave to an army that favors no, that's not it. You act as though world can't exist without you, but I've existed without you, no. You've done nothing but lecture me since the minute I got here. No. Uh, you speak about life and death and change and stagnation, but that isn't what any of this has been about. Explore. Address this vessel's statement. Let's explore. I'm gonna save and then explore here. I don't know if this will be the end, but we'll see what happens. They'll get over it. They'll see your end as a gift in time. Or in time, they will see it as a curse. A picture of a life, and a picture of a life, and a picture of a life. How deep must repetition still our movements, until even the air we breathe is still? 
Picture of life, picture of life, picture of life. How deep must repetition still our movements? Until even the air we breathe is stale. You doused the flames of false devotion, and in my despair, you lifted my chin, and the two of us danced beneath the stars. You doused the flame of my fo false devotion, and in my despair, you lifted my chin, and the two of us danced beneath. Okay, yeah, that's what happened. The stars can't be seen unless the flames go out, and the walls come crashing down. Can you not do for all things what you did for us? Um, Apelius, you speak about life and death. That was a mockery of a life we shared. What we shared there was agony. I never want to hold the world still, but suffering is still the alternative. I never want to hold the world that still needs you. There's no. The only reason we weren't happy was because we couldn't forget. There's a version of that world worth living in. I like that one. I never want to hold the world still, it needs you. I, I, I mean, all of these options down here I like. There's a version of... Okay, wait, maybe we couldn't forget is not what I want. But it's suffering the old... It, I never want to... Okay. Okay, the only real suffering would be a world. Oh yeah, this is when she like became a god. A dog blind to its leash, but there is no light without the dark. When I proclaimed my god and offered you a place at my side, you gladly became the instrument of my new creation. Okay. Only with both of us is there a future to look towards. It is hope that carves me into being. Why is she like being covered with the like is she just so powerful she just kinda of needs to be kinda of contained? Uh address this vessel statement directly. I missed when that was you submitted to you as a mistake. You were consumed by your own ego. I don't like any of these. It is hope that carves meaning into being. So I've existed without you. No, I, I see. I prefer to like uh, address these statements directly. You were consumed by your own ego. To create something beautiful. Okay. Whoa, what's happened? Shiver passes through you as unseen fingers dance across your skin. They remember the violence you inflicted on them. And yet they don't return to it. Shiver passes. They remember the violence you inflicted on them, and they, they, yet they don't return it. Okay. They I'm saying, like, yeah, solution. you're the evil one. I offer your absolution, you take my hand in yours. Without sin, there is no redemption. Without the redemption, there can be no sin. If I had known, no, I don't. If I had known what you were, I never would have freed you. And I would sacrifice to free you again. I don't like any of these. I'm gonna read through. You were willing to sacrifice everything you thought to set me free. Without sin, there is no redemption. Without sin, there is no redemption. That is not true. Uh, I, at least I don't think it is. I know, no, I don't know. I don't sacrifice everything to free you again. I guess this one, but I don't know if this is agreeing with her.
Okay, there we go. I now the first thing. Oh, this is her perspective from like the cave area. That's how we look like. I mean, yeah, look at this tiny blade compared to how she looks. You run, but you do not run away. You take me somewhere new. Somewhere we can dance like we used to. But I could not follow your steps. You run away, you do not... But you, you run, but you do not run away. You take me somewhere new, somewhere we can dance. Like we used to, but I could not follow your steps. There was no better gift for me than the gift of defeat. You showed me how much more I could be. We made each other better. To have no challenges to fade into nothing. A life without obstacles is no life at all. I remember the moment of it, as soon as you... No, why is this one red? This is... I'm gonna save here, again, as well. Address the vessel statement, we both become better for what we've been through, haven't we? Not all of us have become meaning, not exist in the absence of cruelty. Cruelty. I fought you to protect others, not to better myself. Yes. This is why. I fought you to protect others, not to better myself. And yet you changed regardless. Your perspective widened. As the clash between you abates, the princess relaxes, smiling from a distance. The res respite is welcome. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. Okay. There is no constant. There is no cost. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave the prison. When it's all, when it's you, when you get to sit above it all. This universe dies, and a new one is born. And that one dies, and a new one is born. And you and I get to witness it all. Hmm. Weaving a tapestry of life wherever we go. Weaving a tapestry, okay. Uh... I never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? Okay, we're not- I don't think we're slaying the princess. I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you- free. No, I- I think that is- It's easy to believe- I think it's good to set her free. Like, I think death is necessary. It is from my vantage point that I can see the totality of truth. Um... I never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final yeah, because I, I didn't even want to fight her. I don't know why she... Like, I just wanted to talk with her, and then she was like, Nope, we're fighting. Uh, we're having a philosophical debate. Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with me. Free myself. Okay. I freed myself. You fall into yourself. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation, and you feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here, except for her, is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonized tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confer confining you across infinite size and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it, but it does not yield. Take her hand. Warad is massive! All at once, then yielding tension breaks. You are free, and she is with you. It's magnificent. There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality. Something that simply is. Everything. Just like it always has been. And just like it always will be. Step into the infinite. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contains a thousand more. 
You exist and you are aware, just as you always have been, and just as you always will be. Recon though conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone, and the two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. There are no endings, only new beginnings, achieved and unlocked. Interesting! That was, uh... Slay the princess then, I guess? Ugh. That ending was intense. I'm not going to lie. I didn't understand what was happening, like, half the time in that ending, but you know what? It, uh... I chose stuff. I've actually never seen that ending. Really, there are more endings there as well? I thought it would just lead to one ending. What are the endings usually like? Maybe it's because I got that other end. If you agree with the shifting man at the end, it is wildly different. Okay, yeah. I guess- sorry, I guess I meant that I thought there were only two endings, like agreeing with her and disagreeing with her. I didn't realize there were more nuances to all of them there as well. Or I guess three, because it's, uh, you know, agree, disagree, and then, like, you're just neutral, you just sit there. I think there's more than two, okay. First song, finish the game, the good ending doesn't count. Is this not the good ending, then? There's a track order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can... I guess, yeah, because it is choosing a side, so it probably isn't the good ending. The good ending probably is one that's more ambiguous in, like, sides or something. Here's a track order for a special playlist just for you. Oh, is this, um... The music that I got. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll take a screenshot of it. Why not? Okay. Let's see how that is. That's really interesting. So these are the songs that I got in my playthrough. Thank you so much for playing as an expression. Okay, yeah, see here. And now that you've finished the full story for the first time, you've also unlocked the gallery. You can access it from the main and in-game menus under the Memories tab, and it's full of clues that will help you find undiscovered vessels and interactions. Happy hunting! Uh, return to main menu. Oh, well, yeah, okay, this is... never mind. Return to main menu. Wait, join the Discord, join the mailing list. Follow us somewhere else, make your playlist, play our other game. No, okay, so it is- to, I just have to create a new thing. Where's the gallery? No, 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 I don't want to reset gallery. No, is it memories? Well, these are the- wow, I did not get all the vessels. Everything you didn't know you wanted. Yeah, this is the happily ever after, so- Oh, this is, I'm guessing, first act? Beginnings and endings. All of your playthroughs I watched, ending with them, returning to the world with one of the princesses of your choices and living as a mortal. I'm definitely misremembering parts, okay. But this one, I'm living with the, uh, like, the immortal being. So I did not, like, see a lot of the... These, uh, things in between, like, the second... Like, this is kind of first act, I'm pretty sure? Oh, sorry, no, it doesn't really show first act, and this is second, this is third. The adversary? It was something along those lines, okay. Lock your fears away. The razor, look too closely, to look too closely is to redraw the lines. Fall to a feral captive. Betray her before she can betray you. You can't know someone you've never met. Okay, well, I think I'll probably end up doing these myself. 
Because I don't think, uh... The remains of violence free from hesitation. Yeah, it seems like this game has an... Yeah, it does. There's a lot of stuff here. And then, what are these endings and stuff here? Oh, I haven't seen all of this. Oh, these are all the acts. This is the spaces. So this is act... No, this is something else. This is the spaces between. The end of everything. So this is where she stabs me. This is where she stays dead. This is where she like come or go or is back alive again. Find the dams. So there's all of these that I have not found yet. And this here. So. So what, would I have to click here? Find the nightmare, find the beast, find the witch. Get her to break her own chains. Always leave a means of easy egress. Find the stranger? I thought you said she wasn't armed. Oh. Find the tower. This is her when she's standing over us after she's completely destroyed us. It's the princess. This one's the damsel when you bring in nothing. Find the nightmare. I don't know what the nightmare would be. The prisoner. The adversary. That's her, just her beating us up. The specter and the razor. Hmm. Okay. There's a bunch of stuff, but I, I mean, I guess that is that is it then, because uh, I definitely do plan to play this game more. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure it'll get... Um, the only one of those I recognize is Find the Witch. I don't really recognize any others. Okay. What else do we have here? Lock your fears away. Falter Feral Captive. Betray before she can betray you. You know, you, you, you can't know someone that you've never met. Angels and demons are cut from the same cloth, and it's best to not deny a proud being. Oh, so here. This is, a, or this is like somewhere with the adversary. I'm guessing maybe each of them have two options. Like here leads to this, this leads to this. No, okay. It, that's not how it works. Okay. Because I like, this seems to lead from this as well. The tower, oh yeah. One might resist the divine, but it's very hard to kill a god. There's no shame in failing. So these two, I think, branch from each other. So the adversary somehow comes from here. Sometimes when you cut something out of you, a piece of you leaves with it. I feel like this might leave, come from the specter. Kill your worst dreams or be killed by the ghost of your past. Well, this is definitely the specter. Maybe this could be the god? Lock your fears away. I don't know what this one is. Better to linger with your nightmares than to let them run wild. So I don't know what this one is. There are other ways to nature than... Wait, there are other ways to die to nature than to let it swallow you whole. Whole. Become one with the princess in a very literal sense. May involve, but, not, does, but does not necessitate being eaten. I'm guessing it has to do with the feral captive. Sometimes the only way to break a vicious cycle is to put your heart on the line. Betray her before she can betray you. When you've seen the worst sights of the prison of the world can offer, you can always choose to walk away empty-handed. Okay. The prisoner doubt breaks another shackle while forcing another. There are many reasons spirits may linger the flames of the passion. So it seems like all of these Act 2 things have at least one Act 3 thing. Yeah, but some have multiple. Like, two of- this one, I feel, definitely has multiple. Like, these two here. This one, I'm not sure if this has multiple. Because it's definitely this one. The Spectre, I could see having multiple, because it just, like, you kill the Spectre, and then, like, you can- multiple things come from it. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay. Very interesting. Oh yeah, these are. This is just where I was. Okay. Well, I think that was uh, Slay the Princess. Then, 
That was a very interesting game, I would say. Um, I know the Nice Princess has an alternative Act 3 than what you got. I guess, yeah, you, that, that also does make sense. Okay. I guess we will see then. Uh, or, I mean, you guys won't see. I'll, I'll probably have to see what I eventually get. Um, I don't know when I will play it again, but probably at a later point, once like I've kind of forgotten everything that happens. Um... But yeah, it'll be it'll be just with myself, just to just to see, try to see if I can find all the memories because there's a there's a lot of stuff to find, and I've only done you know just a handful of them. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, what I get. Yeah, I did not get like a lot of stuff over here. Go back where it all started and meet her face to face. Fruits of your labor, world free from death. Oh, so this is like if we take the narrator side. Return to your strange beginning at Slayer once for all. We want whatever. Might be on the something new we'll experience together. I don't think it's a way for us to leave, but maybe there doesn't have to be an ending. Go back to where it all started. You were always a bit of a contrarian, weren't you? Destroy her without any outside help. Oh, all these are destroyed without any outside help, and then find a new world. Defeat her without any outside help, and then offer her grace. I wonder what outside help is. Find your freedom as gods forever. And then what about this one here? The space between. I've done basically everything here. It's just this damn both of you to an incomplete existence. So this is it's you. This is you've grown. Is this when you've like, yeah, so your your hands are like slightly bigger here? And then you have some wings at the oh no, but you always have wings at the back here. You've withered. You've unraveled. This is when you're just like bones, it seems. And then you are nothing at all. And then the narrator appears. Okay. The woods and the cabin. Okay. Well, I think that'll be it for me then for today. Um, that was Slay the Princess. I think tomorrow I might not be able to stream, but I might be able to. I don't know. Um, I also think I'm going to be taking a break from Darkest Dungeon for, for a bit because uh, I'm getting slightly tired of that game. So I'm going to be taking a step back. So we're going to be doing other games probably uh, is what I think I'll do. Um, tomorrow I might be able to play this and I'll try to see if I can do a one-off horror game since it will be Halloween or at least the day of Halloween and then we will see I guess what uh, what we do all right well um, thank you to everyone who stopped by the stream I appreciate it and I will be back probably tomorrow with uh, with something else all right goodbye everyone